it's absolutely, I'm really almost, oh, I'm struggling, but almost stuck for words. It's just brilliant. I'm with Nicholas from Axar, we're at Timtos 2023. All I can say is, wow, what a machine. This is the G9? It is, yeah, that's our latest uh, gantry type machine. Oh, just, it's absolutely, I'm really almost, oh, I'm struggling, but almost stuck for words. It's just brilliant. So tell me more about it. First of all, I'm looking here, full five axis, twin knuckle. So tell me first of all about that. Yeah, so we have a tilting table type construction with uh, two torque motors on the sides of the machine, so for the hay axis and one torque motor on the C-axis for the rotation of the table. Okay, so what's the benefit of having motors on both sides? Actually, it gives a very good dynamic of the machines, so very fast and uh, very good acceleration in the movement, but also high speed. So we are talking about 80 RPM on the C-axis and 60 RPM on the, on the A-axis. So really, you could do some super fast machining once you combine it with everything else in there. That's exactly the point, okay. yeah. So you've got the C-axis, so which you do 80 RPM, but you can actually do turning as well. Yeah, it's a different system in the, in the table, but yeah, we can rotate the table up to 800 RPM. So 800 that gives, RPM? Yeah, that gives the, the possibility to, to do a little bit like a vertical turning machine, basically. But oh, the idea is to complete the parts on one machine, in one setup, milling and turning at the same, on the same uh, clamping. Absolutely, it's key to it, so you get that repeatability, that accuracy by doing it all in one hit. That's, that's it, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you've got the A and the C axis going in here, obviously X, Y, and Z. Yeah. What size billet will it actually fit? Uh, we can go up to 1.1 meter uh, in diameter, up to 500 uh, in the height, uh, work piece height, and up to two tons on the table. Two tons? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just absolutely blown, honestly, I'm absolutely blown away by this. But it's all well and good having this super fast and taking a big billet. Yeah. Have you got the ability to cut it with a spindle up there? Yeah, so the, the chance we have now, what we can offer to our customer is the possibility to choose between HSK A63 or HSK A100. So on this model, we have the HSK A100 with a very good speed, 16,000 RPM. 16,000, yeah. wow. Okay, but the benefit of the HSK, does it mean you can get different tooling, lots of different tooling? Yeah, yeah, on this type of machines you can, because it's such high speed, you can use very small tools to do a, to get a good, good surface for the workpiece, for the finishing. And uh, it's also a very rigid uh, spindle taper, so you can use big milling tools for rough milling and this kind of operation. So you can do some big, big cuts and get some big uh, uh, swarf of chips out of there, but also some nice delicate finishing as well. Yeah, that's the point, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's all well and good though. So you've got a super fast, super powerful spindle. Yeah. What about the ram though? It needs to be rigid. Yeah, no, that's why we are going gantry type construction. We have twin ball screws, uh, one ball screw on each side of the, of the gantry. And uh, we, again, on, on this machine, we, we keep the philosophy of high speed. So we move at 48 meters per minute, which is super fast for a machine like this. Yeah. Uh, it get, just, it's just getting better all the time, it really is. Absolutely, honestly, I'm absolutely blown away by this machine. But again, you've also thought about access to the machine, not just down here, yeah. but also you can move the roof back as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, the, the operator can access the inside of the machine without any uh, interference, I would say. And we can also load from the top uh, for heavy work piece with a crane it's accessible, we can remove the, the top yeah. of the machine. Yeah. Large room in there, especially if you're dropping in a billet, well, not dropping, that's not the right word, but yeah. placing a billet in there, two tons, you need that accessibility. That's that's the point, yeah. For, uh, again, absolutely fantastic, but you're doing lots of machining, full va five axes, you've got plus or minus 120? Uh, yes, that's that's the movement, so plus minus 120 gives you the possibility to access some uh, some specific tools, for example, yeah. so that's that's a good point for the So some really intricate machining, all, uh, essentially full five axis simultaneous machining, but you're going to need a lot of tooling. Yeah, you need, you're going to need tools. <laughs> On this model, the, the, the tool magazine is in the back of the machine, you can get up to 120 tools. And on the next model, the G10, which will be a bigger machine, we will have the magazine on the side and the automation in the back. So G10, even bigger than this? Slightly bigger than this one, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, but then you're going to have the automation as well. How many pallets will that have? So we can have two pallets as a standard automation configuration, and then we can increase it to up to six pallets. Okay, so essentially you're, getting, you're keeping this spindle turning 24-7. That's totally the idea of uh, automation, yeah. and of course, 
What we also recommend with our customers is to use digital intelligent management, which is Axile speciality. So the ability of monitoring the components, the wear components of the machine, and to get the information, to make analysis and take decisions. So it's not just about having this fantastic machine, it's making sure it's kept running all the time, so yeah. analyzing, monitoring, so if something does possibly go wrong, you guys can be straight here to fix it. Yeah, we, 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 we have access to the, to the information and we can share the, the details to take the right decisions and do the, the right maintenance when it's necessary. Yeah. Absolutely superb. Now over my shoulder here, yeah. the control panel, I see their hide name, but not everybody uses a hide name. Yeah. I don't know it's a good and a famous control for five axis operations, but the, the, the Axile ID is to keep the flexibility in the controls choice, so we can also offer Siemens and Fanuc. So flexibility for all machine shops essentially. That's, the, that's what we want to offer to our customers, yeah. Okay, yeah. now when you say your customers, what sort of customers are you looking at? What is this aimed at? I mean, aerospace could be a, a very good application. We are talking about parts that can be bigger than a meter, so yeah. Aircraft engines, for example, these kind of things. Okay. Hydraulic valves, many different applications. Yeah. So I think we've already worked out here, this machine is capable of doing some very intricate components, but it can hit the tough materials as well. Yeah, yeah, we are not afraid of titanium and inconel, for example. So yeah, we can, we can work this out, yeah. Excellent. Nicholas, a great insight into your latest machine, the G9 and the G10 coming soon, which is all the automation and even bigger. Yes, that's what we are assuming now, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the overview. If you've got any questions, obviously get in contact with Nicholas at the team at Axile. Thank you.